y'all, I'm Miss Casey, and this is Aslan, and we're gonna be making a blossom tree today. Um, this goes along with the book, Fletcher and the Springtime Blossoms. You will need the brown piece of construction paper that should have been in your mail packet. You'll need some glue. I'm gonna use bottled glue. Um, and we need your bag of tissue paper. This is bag number three. Um, scissors for sure. If you like to get things done really quickly, mom or dad, tape and maybe a stapler and I'll show you that at the end. All right so first we are going to take our brown piece of construction paper and we're going to fold it long ways like this. Okay. When you open it up you can take your scissors and you are going to be cutting up um, probably about an inch apart and just cut all the way up just to the folded line and stop. Okay. And it doesn't have to be straight, but we're just gonna keep cutting. How you doing over there? Oh, you got the little scissors. Cute. Can you go all the way? I'm just to the folded line. You're gonna stop there. Okay, this is my last one. Here you go. Okay, while Aslan's doing hers, I'm gonna go ahead and start here. Um, you are going to take your paper, and we're gonna now put it long ways. It could be this way or this way. And we're going to start rolling it into a little tube, okay? Not too little, but we're just going to roll it up here. Okay, and um, this is where you can use a stapler or tape or glue. I do not like to wait a long time, but you can put some glue right in here if you'd like. I am actually... This one, you can try to staple it if it's big enough. I'm actually gonna use some tape here for a minute. And I'm gonna tape here at the bottom just to secure it. And then I'll add a little bit of glue here. Okay. Yeah, it's not gonna work, but you can hear it. some tape or glue. We're using either or. And you might want to put some tape right at the very bottom and kind of tuck it under. Okay, so this is the start of your tree, okay? It should stand up. If it's a little uneven, you might have to trim it a little bit with your scissors um, so it can stand, okay? What we're going to do from here is we're just going to start pulling some of our branches down, okay? This is where we're going to start with making our tree. Limbs. Limbs, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Branches, limbs. I'm proud of you. Mm -hmm. And it's really cute if your little one just doesn't even do straight lines because it'll honestly look more like a real tree. Um, just seeing them do it, it's gonna look more realistic. Um, okay, from here, you're gonna take your tissue paper. And some of you have purple, some of you have pink, some of you have white. Um, usually those. What's with the color? Like, how does that go with the book? Um, these are blossoms, and oh. like I've looked online and looked at some cherry blossom trees and different blossom trees, and I saw a lot of white, violets, and light pinks. Um, you don't have to use all these, but what you're gonna do is you're going to take your little pieces of construction paper. Mom and Dad for preschoolers and kindergartners, this is really good fine motor um, skills for your children, okay? Because they're gonna take them and they're just gonna squish them up. They're gonna take little pieces and just kind of squeeze them together just a little bit and just take it. So it's not into a little ball, but just a little bit because you wanna be able to see the blossom. All right, from here, you can put one or two on each branch. So we'll just put a dab of glue and then a dab of glue, maybe two. And we'll glue this one here. We'll glue this one here. And then you're gonna do each branch. And then when you get done, you'll have your blossom tree. You 
taking your... Okay, you, you have white. I saw a lot of white blossom trees. So, guys and girls, that's why I sent the colors I did, just because those are you your... You twist the top, Aslan. I'm twisting it. <laughs> you need to use mine? <laughs> okay, here. I'm going to go ahead and Maybe just cut. If you put... Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. So, be careful with your tree. Here you go. You can take some of those. So, one, two... Mm-hmm. You could honestly just like stand that up in their room. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, that's what's really cute. cute is about it. It's, it will stand up. Especially little girls. Mm -hmm. Or it could be a good gift, a nice gift for mom. Could you could you do that with like green ones too? If you wanted to make probably just a regular tree, you could. Because that would probably look more like leaves. Mm -hmm. But in this situation, um, this is a blossom tree just because it goes along with our book that we made. We're seeing a lot of these out right now just because spring's here. here. There you go. Oops. So take and squeeze. Really good for um, preschoolers because they're going to be using a pencil soon and this gets their muscle strong. and ready to use a pencil. How you doing over there? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> here's another one. Everybody should have enough tissue paper. I put about 30, 30 pieces in, in each bag. So you're probably gonna have more than enough. So you can put as many or as less as you want. How are you so fast? Okay. Well, you're having an issue there with those scissors, remember? <laughs> Little baby scissors. Mm -hmm. I'm only putting about two on each limb, but That's Aslan's awesome. putting several. Yeah. She's got about three blossoms on each limb. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fine. Hey, do it the way you want to do it. Okay, so there is my blossom tree. Beautiful. Let it dry, let it stand up. Could you use a fan to dry this? Up? Well, it'd probably tip over. <laughs> you know, that's probably this construction paper is very light, so it yeah. will probably tip yeah. over. Don't okay. sit it outside either. Yeah, just let it sit up on your kitchen counter or your bedroom dresser and, and let it dry. Almost oh, done? You're slow. <laughs> Got it? Not yet. All right. Well, y'all, thanks for doing the craft with us today. And we'll meet back on Monday for an I Can Draw a Dolphin. That'll be fun. And I will be in it. Oh, and Sarah will be in it. I will be in it. And maybe some more of the family. Have yeah. a great day. Bye.